What's up everybody? Welcome to the happiest place on earth. My name is Corey and today we saw a very bullish day in the stock market as we continue to climb the wall of worry. First up, let's take a look at the S&P 500 SPY ETF. So let's crack open this chart and see what's going on in the stock market today. All right, so today on SPY, we did go up 0.63% and we did close above our critical resistance at 441. So this is definitely a bullish breakout and as you can tell, it is a brand new closing all-time high. It was on extremely low volume, so you still need to be cautious as we continue to climb higher in this market, but you need to remain objective because the market can and probably will climb this wall of worry. There's a lot of fear readings out there and the market does not typically correct when everybody's expecting it and everybody is fearful. So we did get a bullish price action close blasting through resistance and well above a positive sloping 5 EMA and we still have the full bull trend. So our next price target is above at 446. Again, I can't stress it enough to remain cautious. And even though you should remain a bull in a bull market, we're definitely getting up to the critical price targets that could lead to a pullback or a correction. So don't over leverage and don't take on too much risk, but do continue to trade to the long side as long as we're in a bull market. It's possible we will have support now at 441 because we did build such a strong base of resistance there that could mean that it's now a strong base of support. So this market could really start to gain some traction and could start to look very bullish if we build a base of support at 441 and start climbing to 446. All of that worry will go away and the next thing you know, this market will be fueled by greed and it's very interesting how quickly the market can switch from fearful to greedy. So be on the lookout for that in the very near future and do understand greed readings as we get to our next price target will be more than likely what we see before we see a stock market correction. So the critical downside support for SPY will now be 441 and still at our 20 simple moving average, which is now at 437. Remember, we need to close below our 20 simple moving average to even consider the fact that this market's rolling over and we have yet to see that. So continue to watch that critical support and do understand we're still in a very strong bull market. On the NASDAQ 100 triple Qs, we also had a bullish breakout with the price action today going up 0.63% and closing at a brand new all time high. Our next price target is just above at 370. And if we can break out over 370, our next price target will be 376. Price action is well above a positive sloping 5 EMA and we still have a very strong bull trend with confirming bullish price action. Again, we are breaking out on low volume, so this is still climbing the wall of worry as a lot of people are too fearful to buy into this market. Of course, all of that is subject to change. If we continue to go higher, we could see a FOMO rally as people jump in at the all-time highs and then wonder why they're losing money when the stock market corrects. So look for critical resistance at 370 because if we break that, we could start running to 376. Critical downside support will still be 367 and our 20 simple moving average at 364. And remember, we need to break below 364 to see this stock market start rolling over. And as long as we're above that critical support, you need to remain bullish and remain cautious as we continue to climb higher. On the Dow Jones, we were up 0.75% today and we did maintain the bullish trend after testing critical support just yesterday at 348. So these critical support levels are holding up and we're seeing buyers stepping in at these levels, which is exactly what you would expect to see in a bull market. We see buyers stepping in at support and we could see the Dow Jones blasting through resistance as soon as tomorrow. So watch critical resistance at 351 and critical support at 348. If we break above 351, the next price target is 355. And if we break below 348, the next support level will be 345. On the Russell 2000, we were up 1.8% today and we closed exactly at resistance at 222. Remember that the Russell 2000 is still in a bear market until we see price action closing back over the 50 EMA. So we need to see the Russell 2000 closing above about 223 to scare away the bears. If we can get price action above the 50 EMA and regain the bull trend, we could see the Russell 2000 retesting all time highs yet again. So look for a critical resistance test at 223. And if we could break above that, we could have a quick trip to 227. Other than that, your critical downside support will be down here at 220, 219. And if we break below 219, we're very likely coming back down to the support level at 215. On the RK ETF, we did have a bullish day today going up 1.86% and I did tell you to look for this. Remember that we're likely coming out of a correction and we already dropped 13% from the highs and it does look like RK is starting another bull cycle. We have the full bull trend and the price action did hold up above critical support at 120 and now we're seeing strong bounces off of that level. So our next resistance level is up here right around 128 and if we can break that we'll have resistance at 131 and 135. Remember that as long as we have the bullish trend you want to buy the dip at critical support and your critical support levels will be down here at 121, 
120 and below 120 it will look like RK is starting to break down and we could be coming back down to support at 115.5 but right now everything looks bullish on RK as long as we're staying above these moving averages and we do see the full bull trend on the VIX we were down 3.84 percent today and we continue to see the VIX getting crushed remember while the VIX is getting crushed that increases the probability we're going to continue to go to brand new all-time highs because the VIX is a measurement of fear and fear is heading lower we're back below all the moving averages and we're losing the full bull trend but i will tell you that we're not out of the woods yet the vix is still forming higher lows and it could easily spike from these levels so do remain cautious and continue to watch it if you see the vix getting above 20 that will be your warning sign other than that as long as the vix is below 18.2 that will be bullish so watch that 18.2 level because if we're below that you want to remain bullish and if we start spiking above 20 you want to get a lot more cautious on bitcoin we're currently up over three percent and we continue to see bitcoin rallying off of that strong support level at 37,500. we're very close to regaining the full bull trend so this might be the only dip that we're going to see before bitcoin breaks out and starts running to our price target at fifty-one thousand dollars. so remember we need to break out above forty-three thousand, and that will confirm that bitcoin is very likely headed to my price target at fifty-one thousand. So on a break above critical resistance at 43,000, look for a bullish run to the $50,000 range. And if we do break back down below 37,500, you're looking for critical support at 36,800 or our breakout level down here right around 35,000. It's still possible we're going to do an ABC down and this is still the B wave up and we're coming back down for a C leg lower. So don't get faked out if we do start heading lower. This is still going to be a bullish development in the long term, but we might just need to finish out this leg lower before we can go for another leg higher. So look for a potential fake out to the downside, but as long as we don't break below critical support, it's still a buying opportunity for Bitcoin for the long term on the trip to $51,000. On Amazon stock, we were up 0.63% today, and we continue to see Amazon climbing that support trend line. We did see a positive bounce off of that support right around 3340, and we continue to see Amazon inching higher day after day. As long as we're above this support trend line, that's going to significantly increase the chances that Amazon is going to close the gap above at 3580. Remember that as long as the triple Qs are in a bull market, it's very likely Amazon will close this gap. So this is a big gap above and it has a lot of upside price targets that we could meet as long as we see the triple Qs continue and climb higher. So I do want you to pay attention to two critical resistance levels at 3400, the 50 EMA right around 3470, and our 3500 resistance level. Above 3,500, we could really start running closing this gap, which is all the way up here at 3,580, so watch for that breakout. To the downside, we would see a breakdown if we close below 3,340 and then 3,311, we could see a lot more downside. But overall, Amazon is already very beaten up and it's very likely it will continue to drift higher until it catches a bid and starts running. On Tesla stock, we did close right above resistance at 714.5, so technically we did get a price action breakout. Remember, above 714.5, it's very likely Tesla is going to have a quick trip into the 760s, so look for that potential price action as soon as tomorrow. We're going sideways on decreasing volume, which is a bullish consolidation. We saw an increase of volume on the breakout, and now we're seeing decreasing volume on the sideways consolidation while we build out a bull flag look and we did close above critical resistance. We still have the full bull trend, and you can see the price action is riding the upper Bollinger Bands as they continue to expand. So overall, Tesla's chart still looks extremely bullish, and it does look like it wants to go for that next leg higher into the mid 700s. So look for that move very soon because it's very likely going to happen very quickly and very explosively. You'll know Tesla is starting to break down if we start closing below about 688 and come back down to our 20 simple moving average and fail to bounce off of that level. I don't see Tesla coming all the way back to the 20 simple moving average at this time, but it's always a possibility. So watch that support level at 670 if we do start to head lower. On Apple stock, we were flat on the day, basically going nowhere as we continue to consolidate sideways and finish out this wedge. Remember, in a wedge, we're going to see a breakout in one of the directions, so you need to watch closely to see which direction Apple's going to break. A bullish breakout will be a breakout above 149, and a bearish breakdown will be a breakout below 143. So you do have a range that you need to pay attention to, and Apple is still forming some bullish momentum with the price action and the moving averages. So I am favoring a bullish breakout above 149 and a quick trip to 156. So look for that in the very near future, and that would coincide with the triple Qs hitting our next price target. So watch for that closely, but do understand if it starts to break down below 143, we're very likely coming back down to the 50 EMA at 140 or closing the gap at 137. 
On the financial sector, we were up 1.31% today, and we do see the financial sector starting to break out. We're almost in a full bull trend, and the price action is well above a positive sloping 5 EMA, so we could see the financials going into a bull market yet again. The industrials were up 0.47% today, and we still have the financials over the 50 EMA with a full bull trend. The healthcare sector was down 0.41% today, finding support right at the 5 EMA, and we still have a very strong bull trend in the healthcare sector. The energy sector was up 1.13% today, and we still see the energy sector in a bear market. We found resistance at a negative sloping 20 simple moving average, and we still have a strong bear trend with price action below all of the moving averages. So jumping back over to SPY, you can definitely see that this bull market is gaining traction as we climb the wall of worry. This low volume will likely go away when we do gain some bullish traction and we see some of that cash coming in off the sidelines. Remember that if you're FOMO buying at these levels, you are buying very near a potential top before we see a stock market correction. As we start nearing these next price targets, it's significantly increasing the probability that we're going to see a significant pullback and that even could lead to a stock market correction. So if you've been bearish on this whole entire bull run up now, now is not the time to be flipping to a bull and FOMOing in. Manage your risk accordingly and do understand the higher we go, the more risky this market becomes. So just be aware that it will become more risky in the next couple of weeks. August and September are typically very volatile months, so you do want to manage your risk and you do want to trade with a lot of discipline and don't FOMO into this market if you haven't already been in this market all of this time. So remember to stay objective and we need to see a critical price action break below support to even consider the fact that this market is going to roll over. So right now the path of least resistance is still higher so watch that upside price target and if we start breaking back down below 441 you will want to watch this 20 simple moving average support. Also don't forget I have my own trade alert service called Bank Trade Alerts that only trades T triple Qs and it's very simple to follow. It does well in all market conditions and does exceptionally well in volatile markets so August and September could be the best time to try out bank trade alerts. You get all of your buy and sell alerts directly via email and text message, and I'm currently running a 50% off coupon code for your first month, so now is the best time to try it out. You can find out all of the details about bank trade alerts in the description below. I also have the Stocks Channel Discord where I do intraday updates and analysis to help you navigate this market. If you're interested in joining the Stocks Channel Discord trading community, you can find out how to join by clicking on the link in the description. So thanks for watching everybody, I hope you're crushing this market. And as always, I will see you in the next episode.